beautiful sunset. Wow. Awesome. Well, daylight savings time is coming. This is my neighborhood. East New York, Brooklyn. Yeah. Nice residential. Working people and families and seniors. No homeless people. Yes, God. My gate is open for me. Ah, beautiful. Nice. Oh, my little doobie spot. Nice. I brought my tripod. I brought everything. Hold on, guys. Oh, so nice to be able to walk somewhere and relax. I love New York for that. Oh, God. I think I just set you on on a thing here. Yeah, right here. Oh. Na, 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 na. Okay, here we are. Oh, man. Oh. Uh -huh. Alrighty. So I'll put this over here. My lighter. My box. Oh, I also got my headphones too. Okay, get my headphones. Oh god. I hate these sniffles. Testing, testing, testing. You can hear me? Loud and clear now, right? If you can, give a thumbs up. Send me an emoji if we have a good signal. For real, send me an emoji. Oh. <laughs> if you can hear me, okay. Yes, okay, good. Because I powered up my ear pods and I powered up the phone. Everything should be okay. Yeah? So nice to just sit here and the children are not playing yet because spring is not, you know, it's not warm enough. But come season, they'll be playing soccer over here. I'll be in Jamaica. How did that burn way down there? I lit it here. I started burning down here. Go figure. <coughs> beautiful, beautiful sunset. It's my favorite time of the day, sunrise and sunset. I'm going to go home, fix me some dinner. My roommate got her daughter and her granddaughter at the house. So many people in the house for me. It's only be supposed to be two or three people in the house, but it's four now. I'm going to save my money up and buy a used trailer 
and put it behind Nina's trailer. And then when we move and get our own property, we can just transport the trailers to our own property. <coughs> I like the way she thinks. <coughs> Nina wants her own legacy of land for her children and her grandchildren. I like the way she's thinking. So I have to get a vehicle so when they move to the country, I can get it out of there when I go down there. For seven people, they need two vehicles. Hey, Tracy. I took a nice nap. I'm telling you, the stress from getting that, uh, that paperwork in really knocked me out. I couldn't believe how nervous I was. Because I could have mailed it in, and then I could have saved that $30. But the reason why you go to the post office because they double-check all your paperwork and make sure you have signed and did everything right so your paperwork don't come back. And I needed that extra help, so we signed an affidavit that my passport had been lost. And um, because I've had a passport before, this thing should return to me quickly. And I, my driver's license had this address on it. I mean, I was well documented for New York State, well documented. And I had my original birth certificate, which they will mail back to me. Waking and baking in the park. Now, you know, the fact that I can't smoke in the house is really kind of good because it gets me out of the house. And this is like a 15-minute walk, so I get a good half-mile half walk in because, you know, I'm working on exercising. Got to get this coronavirus weight off of me. So my girlfriend, Susie Metzner, said, they told her six, eight, 12 weeks, and she got her passport back in 10 days. I'm like, 10 days? All righty. I could deal with that because in 10 days, we'll have, the stimulus will be coming. I would like the stimulus and the passport to come at the same time. Then I could just book my ticket and be gone. Because as soon as the stimulus comes, I'm hitting proceed to checkout. And getting all my stuff from Amazon for my cleanse. And the suitcases to put it in. So pack up everything and get ready to go. Taking four suitcases with me. Two carry-on and two under. Taking a juicer, a blender, and an ice cream maker. I'm going to be eating ice cream every day. <laughs> I'm going to buy a small freezer for my house in Jamaica. And it costs about $250. But you can set, it's a deep freezer and it has a tray where you can put your stuff on top too if you don't want it ice cold. So tomorrow, I'll call my caseworker, all my caseworkers. Matter of fact, I'm going to walk over to the, uh, no, I'll just call them and tell them I need to see a dentist ASAP. Like this week, next week, like that, not in a month or so. Oh, man. It's nice out. I think this weekend they're going to change the time. So our days will be longer. And warmer. Yeah, longer and warmer. 
and then the seasons will go into spring. The weather's going to break this week, and then we have April, and then May. May is beautiful in New York, but I won't be here. <laughs> I'll be in my bikini. Oh, um, oh my God. Uh, Yumi called me from the Grill Beach today on WhatsApp. And the sun was setting. Mm, mm, mm. The reggae music was flowing. She had a spliff. (laughs) (coughs) 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 The boat bar is my friend's favorite hangout. They go there early in the morning. (laughs) But on Monday and Wednesday, they have a little music there for sunset. So the grill is still laid back and easy, even during coronavirus times. Yumi looked beautiful. I'm going to post the pictures up on uh, Facebook. She just called me and loved me up and told me how much she loved me. And it just, man, it was the best call ever. Especially since all my paperwork went by for my passport. So they asked me, did I want the small book or the large book? I told them, is there an extra charge? She said, no. I said, give me the large book. And then I'm going to get a really nice case for it. So nothing gets on it. Nothing. And I have the purse from DKNY for my passport, my wallet, my phone. Boom, right on my side. That little black one with all the writing around it. Taking that to Jamaica. And then I'll have one sling over my shoulder and one I'm carrying. I'm going southwest because they let me carry everything. I should see if I could take my hula hoop down there. That's where I should take it. I could hula hoop on the front lawn. Oh, my God. Well, good news. The hula hoop breaks down. I'm going to break the hula hoop down, put it in a bag, and stick it in the suitcase. (laughs) Taking my hula hoop with me. If the rebounder wasn't so heavy, I would take it, but it's just too heavy. The rebounder is about 12 pounds, 14 pounds. Tracy, are you going in and out? Is the signal bad? I just see Tracy Ann is watching. Tracy Ann is watching. Tracy Ann is watching. You got three phones? <laughs> oh, man. This herb is nice. I want you to try some. I'm going to save some for you. I think this is just going to be my provider from now on. No problem. Just what I like. You never left. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess you just love me three times, huh? Yeah. Hash bar, girl. You got to taste this. This could be solving all our problems. (laughs) Cool and easy, you know? Yeah, we do. This is bullshit what we're going through. He just solved the problem. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I'm really happy. I can't wait to see him again. I sent wonder to him too, and Q. Q and Nina are in L.A. today. Can you believe it? For three days, Q's best friend is, dad is very, very ill with cancer. Stage four or whatever cancer. And um, Jeff and Quincy... They lived in the same apartment building when Nina met Q. They've been friends a long time. So they went to support him, you know, and his family. I thought that was so nice. I like how they roll the crosses. I really do. I like how they love upon others and they spread their love. Mm -hmm. She's watching all three of them and she's not stressed. She got them learning Japanese. (laughs) 
They were on their way to the mall. She got the uh, stroller. It's about 70 degrees there. They went to the playground. They were having some juice. They're going to pee and then go shopping. I said, wow. Naraya didn't have the sad face on. She said, hi, Grandma. King said, hi, Grandma. Bodie was like, whatever. <laughs> I'm telling you, it takes a village to raise children. So you have me threatening to beat and kill them. You have wonder being very patient and having a listening and compassionate ear. And then you have Nina and Q spoiling them. So you have balance, see? They have everything. (laughs) They have everything. The funniest thing happened when I lit this spliff, uh, Tracy. I lit the tip of it, but the middle, of the right down about a half inch of it, lit on fire. And then this much of the spliff just dropped off. It's ain't that a bitch. <laughs> I never had that happen to me before. Now, normally, my hands would be so ice cold, I'd have to leave. But... I'm I'm where I want to be at. Now I'll sleep good tonight. All I do at night is just get up and pee. I think tonight I'll take a bath. Or maybe tomorrow I'll take a bath. You know, no rush. <laughs> I'm so glad I have my own bathtub. And I have my own section of the apartment. So once I go in my room, I don't even hear them. And her daughter and her granddaughter are leaving tonight. So it'll just be the two of us again. And I'll soon be gone. My rent's paid up to July. So when the stimulus comes, I'm paying my rent up to July, August, September. October. I'll pay it up to October. And I'm going to pay up my phone bill till, let me see, um, April, May, June. Three months. Paying up all my bills a couple of months in advance so that way I can work on other things that I'm doing. I'm cutting off my Amazon Prime and my YouTube Prime. Or paying a YouTube up for a year. I'll shut it off, and then when I come back into the States, I'll pay for it for a year. And then turn on Amazon Prime again uh, for the food stamps, which is $5.99 a month. Mm. Oh, no, 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 honey. I have that utmost in my mind. I'm coming back into a staycation. I'm flying back on the 26th. Unpacking my bags and waking up the next morning to meet you at the hotel. I don't want to be coming all into the hotel with a bunch of fucking bags. I'm going to go home, unpack, and then the next day meet you. So I'm coming back on the 25th or the 26th. And I'll have my shit waiting here for me. I can take care of that from Jamaica. Isn't that awesome? I love the I love modern times that we're all communicating and we're one tribe. We don't have to worry about nothing no more. It's taken care of. Two to three days. Boom, bop, boom. 
Because I'll be with Goose, you know, May, June, and then I come home. July, August, I'm on the beach. <laughs> July, August, Coney Island, Rockaway Park, Central Park. Every day, I'm one of those places. Washington Square Park, Chelsea Piers, the East River, Prospect Park on Sundays. I'm getting a bicycle when I get back. And I'm off and running, baby. Riding my bike every day. Oh, she's busy with her family. Her daughter's there and her granddaughter. So they be online schooling, you know, and everything's so nice. You know, I love it. And I just go to my room and stay to myself. (laughs) The East Village to eat lunch. And film and go down memory lone and film for my YouTube channel. Yes. October 1st, I got to be in Houston to babysit for a week. But really, Wonder's doing such a great job. They may not need me. (laughs) If they don't need me. (coughs) I'm going back to Jamaica. October, November, December. 2022 starts another year. Renew my stay. January, February, March. April, go to Texas. Straight to the country land. I fully intend to enjoy New York during the summer. And my girlfriend's custom making a uh, she's making a custom made bathing suit for me. What they doing for income? They who? What are who doing for income? What are they doing for income? Who? Oh, who is doing what for income? Oh, Nina and Quincy. Nina works at the hospital. (laughs) She works at the hospital. They have online business. She has a big fans only page at Big Body Benz 01. (laughs) And so they work that together. And she's working at Memorial Hospital. She just started. She works at night, seven to seven, three nights a week. She got her CNA certificate. And she's still going to school for her prerequisites for nursing school. She's shooting for January. She found a school close. And then she'll go to two days at the hospital. And then we'll be at the country with no mortgage, no rent. We're buying these trailers cash. All we got to pay is the taxes on the land, the gas, the lights, Wi-Fi. That's it. Since we have such a big family all using Wi-Fi, we'll get a big modem. I'll tell the kids to get like a business type Wi-Fi because we're going to have like five people using it for work and stuff because wonder sells her stuff online too she does masks art stickers and art you can follow her and order her stuff and support the artist at self-aware stranger you can follow nina at chinese laundry with two a's just like the shoe company chinese laundry with two a's you can follow her husband at international underscore tipper. <sighs> they have really found their niche and they're doing it, man. They're doing it. 
Quincy also does installation, installation, insulation work. So yeah, he be he'll be doing that soon when he picks up something. Yeah, things start getting back to normal because he's an insul. He does insulation. He'll be working on on our insulating our uh, mobile home. That's what he'll be working on. We want to grow our own food and sell the extra that we have. We want to grow hemp and sell that internationally. So if you have a link for a company that's selling hemp seeds, CBD seeds, we need to order those. Because it's legal to, you know, grow hemp. That's legal. No problem. So we might as well grow. We have enough land. And that will support everything. God is good. I'm telling you, it's getting dark out here. (laughs) I'll see y'all later, guys. Have a good night.